Bonjour tout le monde, welcome back to the channel guys. Wagwan, I hope everybody good. Thank you for every support. Yo, no, 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 I'm a phone. So today we are going to do a little tutorial on cycloid. So this right here is what we will be doing. This is called a cycloid definition. Get your pen and papers, people. So this cycloid is basically the curve or the arc generated, which is this right here that I highlighted, the orange part. That is, is the curve generated by a point on the circumference of a circle that rolls along the straight line. So let me zoom this up. I'll show you the straight line that the circle is rolling along the straight line, the surface, in a different color, in a shocking yellow. Okay? This is the surface that it is rolling along, and this is the curve generated by it. And yeah. So basically, that is it. So it was along a straight line without slipping. So let's go. It can be very confusing when you're um, producing a cycloid. And that is why I am here. So first, circle. Let's draw a circle. We are going to use a circle of radius, um, let's say, 50. Okay. Radius 50. Right? Let's go. This is our circle. Let's we put it in bilayer color. Yes. So this is our circle. Now we want to divide our circle in 12 equal parts. So there are two ways that you can do this. Well, yeah, there's two ways. So first, what I usually do to my circle is center mark it at first. Center mark it. And that is what I mean by center mark. If you don't want to center mark your circle, you can delete the center mark. You can go to line, go here, go here, and go here, and here. So basically marking the, the circle in the center horizontally and vertically. But I like to use the center mark. Okay? So, now that we have um, center mark our circle, we need to divide it into three, into here about three, did I say three? I mean 12 equal parts. So, we're going to go to a command called Array Classic. Array Classic allows you to divide your lines and your circle in completely equal parts. So, the, here it is, Array Classic. Now... We have rectangular array and polar array. Rectangular array is for like lines and stuff like that, as polar array is for circles. So here we are. So we're going to select our object. I did not select the line that I want, so I'm going to select it now. So this is what I want. I'm going to select our center mark. Or if you chose to draw the two lines going vertically and horizontally, you can select those as well. Then enter. So what I want to do is go right here and select this and go to the center, right here. Right, now total number of items. Now I need to divide this circle in 12 parts. So I'm going to write right here, 12. Right, and we're going to preview it just to see how it looks. See? Beauty. That this is what we want. You wanna see something else different from this? You know, say the something wrong. So yeah. So now that we have this right here, and we only know the radius so far. We need the circumference. So we're going to use the formula. Let me um write it on the screen for you guys. So, we're going to use the formula 2 pi r. So, just that you guys don't forget, I'm going to write it on the, on the screen. Okay. So, we need the formula 2 pi, sorry about that, 2 times. 
pi and we all know that pi is 3.14 and times r times r which is the radius r we can use we can use pi d which is the diameter because we know that the diameter is double the radius so yes yeah. so we have 2 pi r pi times the radius and pi times the diameter so we're going to use 2 pi r let me change the color of this in case you know red or got damage on the eyes um okay so let's continue there we have it so now we're going to use our calculators don't worry if you're using autocad autocad have a calculator for you calculator yes yeah, so go to utilities over here so make sure that you're on home where you find the line and everything and over here on the right hand side we have utility and over the side here we have quick calculator so now we're going to go to the, click the calculator and we're going to wait for it to come up and here it is so we're going to use the formula 2 times pi which is right here we just select, we don't have to put in the digit 3.14 the select pi right there times and the radius of the circle that we had was 50 right and equal so this is what we this is what we're going to need this is the line the surface of our that the circle is going to be rolling on is going to be 314 point da 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 all that digit and ensure that you type the full digits you want to be as precise as possible because if you're supposed to be let's say you're going to create something that should roll along a circle or uh, roll along a surface you know we don't need any mishaps and so on so we're going to use this digit completely so what i did i took a picture of it but you can write down this digit or something or you know or you can keep the calculator up and continue to join so so we're going to draw our surface ensure that you start at the bottom of the circle where the center is let me x off this calculator so you can see it properly so we have the ver the center mark down here we're going to start our circle right here our surface why do i keep saying circle our surface going across remember we got 314.14 five nine two six five enter no good so before we move on i want you guys to number your circle and this is very important you will know why as we move along so we're going to go to annotate and we're going to select multi-line text right as i select in this we just select uh, any area on our screen and there so we're going to go up here where we see annotative and our text height is going to be four just type in four enter and we're just going to type zero zero good let's change the color of it i don't like red let's put this in white or yeah just, just use white right <coughs> zero that's all we need just select zero so if this is too small for you you can zoom it um scale it up or anything but this size is okay for me as i say our text size should be four so now we're going to copy the zero to each of the um div divisions of the circle so we're going to copy it here 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 so let's start copying our um 
let's turn off this autographic mode copy to here to here 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 let's keep copying it so next after finish copying it what we need to do we need to edit the text so you know we're going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And obviously this will be back to 12. Alright, so let's start copying it. Um, not copying it, editing the text. So type in text, text edit. It will come up to right here, text edit. And we're just going to click on this and it's going to come up. So we have one. and you guys I'm sure you guys know how to count if you do not know how to count there are some little kid videos on YouTube that um, teach you how to count in the meantime that I am doing this and this is taking forever please like comment share and subscribe as me say yo my love no glad for all of the support them or now uh, give me all of the effort them or now uh, push out you know Thank you very much. Um, where are we there? Which number are Seven. Yet I will leave edit. I forgot you know, I probably have to go. Speed is up in the edit name. Nine. And if you don't have patience, when you can leave the zero them, if you can, you know, deal with that. Because sometimes you just leave the zero them to come in camera. I don't have no patience for you. Yeah, we're done finally. And you know, so this is going to be 12 already. So we're going to have to edit this down here. So, right? So we've done this already. We've done this already. Now, what we need to do, we need to divide up the line here. Because remember, so this circle is going to roll. It's going to be rolling, rolling, rolling. Right, so we need to have the specific points, the circle is going to be rolling on. So what we're going to do now, we're going to select this right here. Yeah, don't worry. Just select this, just touch that there. And we're going to select Array Classic again. Remember that I was saying that we have Polar Array and Rectangular Array. Now the Rectangular Array is for lines so we need to divide up this line because like rectangle array now we only need the column then we're not gonna need no rule so we're gonna put this to be one and we're gonna put this to be 12. can I remember say a 12 um time a 12 division we have on the circle so we need 12 division and this down here now we're going to leave this as one so because we select the column and we need columns we need to um select like the the amount the equal division like the length of the equal division now you remember the number 314 point what was it 314 314 point da, da 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 that number but that is not the number that we need we're going to be dividing this 314.159265 314.159265 right we're going to be dividing that by 12 right no, divide by 12. When you divide this by 12, you get 20, you get 26.1799. And you could get one number with longer than Bob Marley locks. Type it in. 8387575. Alright. So now we're going to preview. And this is how it's going to do. This is basically what we need. Alright? So, enter. Because that is 
what we need. Okay, people? Right, so what we are going to do now, we are going to go down here, so, and we are going to number them. One right here, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we will continue, continue. Right? So, make it, let's go. Copy this. Like we did with the circle. Let's copy in it. Right here. Done. Done. Right, almost there. Dear. Hope you understand so far. You know, get confusing yet still. But me, I try my best to explain. So type in text edit. Text edit and edit the things there. So one. Two. Exact this as zero, you put three. Um, four. Okay, so I did, I pause, did pause the recording, we just finish all this. Alright, so now that we have all of this, we have the numbering and yes. We have all of the numbering and everything. All right, so now that we have our vertical lines, we need our horizontal lines because remember that for the intersections, that is how we are going to we are going to make our arc. All right, so let's go. So what I need you to do is that for every um intersection, these division lines need to make with the circle. You're going to draw a horizontal line going out. All right, just out. It doesn't matter how long you put it or what. Just make it go out. At least cross the numbering point. Right, go, and you can zoom it up to be precise. Go out with that one, and we have this one already. Go out with this and we have two more number six and number seven. All right, now that we have our intersections, next step. We're going to copy all these numbers. All of them number here, we'll copy them. We are gonna copy them. Select you all of them. Select copy. And we are going to go up and copy them to this center up here where we have nine nine two three. Copy it. Right, so that we don't get confused, and this is like an upside down clock, so probably you understand that better. Upside down clock, so we have nine, three, eight, four, and all those. Right, so here we go. We're going to select this circle and we're going to copy it to number one. We're going to copy it to number one, so copy it. Going to ensure that it is the center of the circle. So I'm trying to find the center. Um, yeah, so copy it to number one. Right, so for everywhere, every time you copy this circle, you're going to mark the intersection. For, so, one, one. So, we have vertical line one, and we have horizontal line one. If you don't see the number, here's the number horizontal line one. 
So now we're going to mark where this circle intersects the or, or intersects or passes the horizontal line number one, which is right here. So now we are going to copy this zero. Let's just copy it. And we're going to use it as our pointer. Just to indicate where the circle um, passes the horizontal lines. Right? It is, as I say, right here. Where did it go? Yeah, it's right there. Let's just delete that. All right, which is right there. So usually, because I know how to do it, I will just copy, 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 copy. But well, that can get a little bit confusing. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this circle as all the circles, if you know what I mean by that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move this. Instead of copying it, I'm going to move it to number two. As you can see, going up number two. Going across, put it to the intersection number two. So this is number two vertical line and this is number two horizontal line. As you can see, the two is there. And the center of the circle is our number two up here. So now that we have number two, we are going to mark where this circle cuts the horizontal line or intersects the horizontal line number two, which is this line right here. And it intersects this number two line right here. So we're going to copy our pointer again. <laughs> We're going to copy it. Copy it. And put it right here. Why is this moving? Put it here. So we're just gonna. Yeah. So we're just going we just want to know that, you know, it's kinda going, going. Because after this we're going to copy all the circles and we're going to make our arc. But let's just take this step by step. So currently we're at number two, right here. And we're going to move this circle again to number three. So let's move our circle to number three and I need to plug in my laptop. Because it's going to die. Let's turn on our autographic mode. Alright. Right there. I'm going to plug in my laptop because I don't want it to die. Alright. So now we are at number three. And here is number three line. As you can see, as I told you, it was an upside down clock. So nine to three. So this is our line up here. So we, this is where the circle crosses number three line. So we're going to copy our pointer again. So basically what you're doing now is just moving and copying wherever the circle just marks the line. And it's right here. Hold on. Copy. Right there. All right. And I see. And I see the arm, um, the curve are coming. It's all right. So let's just go move fast.
so now that we have one half of our arc finished, we're going to do the rest of our arc, which is going down. Alright, so just like the others, we're going to copy this to number 7. We're going to move it, sorry, move it, why do I keep saying copy? Move it to number 7. Okay, and this is line number 7, so we're going to copy it, copy our pointer to line number 7, okay, to where the circle intersect line number 7, and we're just going to keep doing this, basically, all day, all night, it's kind of getting annoying now, I know, but I just like go. So what I'm going to do basically is just pause the recording, finish it up, and um, and then come back because I don't want to this out, okay? I'm back and I am finished. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm just going to delete this circle, right? And what I'm going to do is just copy all my circles, just like how I showed you this, and you have these circles that looks quite confusing. We're just going to do that. So just like we copy the circle and we move it to point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, that's just what we're going to be doing. We're going to copy this circle. That's going to be copying this circle. We're done. But I want to make sure that I'm copying it from the center. So I just move it one side because these lines can be confusing and they can get in your way. So I'm going to copy this. Copy it and ensure that it is being copied from the center. So we have number one. Zoom into number one. Here is number one. Number two. Zoom into number two. Here is number two. Now we are at number three. Zoom into number three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we're going to have unreliable that Okay, and then we're going to have twelve. So what I'm going to do just to get twelve, I'm going to draw a vertical line from the end of this line. Right here. Just draw a vertical line from here. Going up. And I'm going to move this circle going to it right here right just like that so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to draw our arc this right here so what i'm going to do i'm going to change the color of the arc Go to the top, change the color to cayenne, and, and change the line weight to 0 0.40. So now, in order to get our arc, we need a command called spleen. S-P-L-I-N-E. So going at the bottom, this is our first point remember where the circle intersect the lines and we marked our spots with the pointers so going here right second one is right here third one is right here number Number four is right here. 
number five. We just did the pointers, not to get confused, is right here. Number six is right here. Number seven is over here. Oh, number seven is over here. Number eight is right here. Number nine is right here. So remember that the pointers could be you could be get misled misled by the pointers. So we just um mark them just to like give us the idea what we must mark exactly where the circle intersects the line. We must mark the, the intersection, exactly the intersection. And we have this intersection right here and we have this one right here. So so as I was saying, when we have this, we can zoom out and we can see our um, arc and after this we're just going to press enter and that is our arc. This is basically our, our cycloid. Alright, we have our circles, we have our arc, we have our numbering. So now what I like to do with my cycloid, I like to go ahead and clean it up. So like all these extra lines, I don't like it, this right here, I don't like it, so I usually like trim and enter and trim right here and trim right here trim right here trim right here that right can trim so I will trim right here too so basically yes this is what I mean by cleaning up my drawing so this is a cycloid yes people this is it for our video please like comment share and subscribe um, anything that you didn't understand in this video, um, type it in the comment section below. I will clarify and help you with it. But yes, hopefully you um, don't find joint cycles confusing after this video. Um, stay blessed and give less. My love or no.